Joe Gizdick from Tall Tine Outfitters uh, walked way back and into this uh, pit cornfield you see behind me. Uh, we're hunting with a muzzleloader. It's getting to be kind of post ruts around our food sources now. We got set up on in this uh, pit corn. We got kind of real rugged, brushy draws here, fence lines, pastures. Uh, there's a fence crossing about 20 yards from us here. If we get a chance tonight, it's probably going to be in bow shot range. So. We can make that happen, happen with the Thompson Center too, but um, it's a few hours before dark. We got uh, about three hours, so we're gonna sit tight and uh, let her happen. Time slips by. And as the sun dips towards the horizon, Jeff spots this small buck on the far side of a pit cornfield. And then, a few minutes later, Four or five yards from the tree. I mean, too close, but he, uh, I thought he was going to walk right out here and go to the pit cornfield. Like typical mature buck, he just decided to jump the fence rather than going through the opening and come right underneath us. And uh, oh, Matt could hardly get him in the viewfinder anymore. He's directly underneath us. All of a sudden, I heard Matt whispered, kill him. I knew he couldn't go any further, so I picked an opening here through the branches and put the hammer on him. I mean, five yards <laughs> with the muzzle loader. So, the streak continues for Matt and I. This is uh, it's going well. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, we're down here in uh, West Central Illinois with Joe Gizdick from Tall Tine Outfitters. Uh, second evening of the, the second shotgun season. We're hunting with muzzleloaders, as you see. But uh, great looking property. I mean, this big wooded draw is just beautiful country down here. I just love Illinois anyway. But uh, Joe's got a good operation here. Nice buck. Nice buck. Looks like a big mature animal, I don't know. He's at least a three and a half, but I think he might be a four and a half. He's got a real dark skull cap and stuff, so um, decided to take him. He's a good mature deer, that's what Joe wants us to shoot, so. Looks like we got us one. Let's get down and go take a look at him. Here he is, Matt. Only about 50 yards from the tree, probably. We saw him go down, a nice buck. Look at that from the back, huh? It's a good view. Long beams. Nice 10-pointer. Probably a good 
at least a three and a half, four and a half year old buck, I'd say. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. Actually, my first muzzleloader buck. I've shot a few does with the muzzleloader and mostly just bow hunt, but uh, kind of this muzzleloading, we're having a blast. These Thompson Center pro hunters are, are the ticket, I tell you. We uh, put the hurting on this one. As you see, he got a little close on us. He was probably five yards or less when we shot him. He's uh, coming right underneath the tree, and uh, Matt was about at the end of his uh, reach with that camera arm, and all of a sudden I heard him whisper, kill him, and I knew we were just about out of room, so put the hammer down on him through. Had a little bit of twigs to shoot through, but as you see, it was uh, where it's supposed to be, so we're darn happy with this buck. Nice long beams, good deer. Hunting with Joe Gizdick from Tall Tine Outfitters. We're down here in Greene County, Illinois. Uh, second second day of the second shotgun season. We're using muzzleloaders, as you as I mentioned, but uh, just having a blast. This is a great chunk of property he's got right here. Just as bucky looking as you can get, and tough time here, and now it's kind of post-rut. Uh, this fella came in, he's all scarred up from the rut, as you saw, and did just like big ducks always do. We uh, had a fence opening right there he was supposed to come through. Instead, he went 10 feet to the left of it and jumped the fence. Instead of going out in the pit corn, he came right underneath the stand, but that's what you expect big bucks to do after a while. <laughs> it's just, they never do what you want, so. We're unhappy with this one. I think it's going to Wisconsin with us.